1. Introduction to Memory and Learning Have you ever wondered how we learn and remember things? Memory and learning are essential components of human behavior, allowing us to adapt to our environment and make informed decisions. In this section, we will explore the fascinating world of memory and learning. 2. Learning Two point one Introduction to Learning Learning is a fundamental process that plays a vital role in human development and adaptation. It is a continuous process that begins at birth and continues throughout our lives. Learning allows us to acquire new knowledge, skills, and behaviors that enable us to interact with our environment and respond to new challenges. 2.2 Acquisition of New Information One of the most important aspects of learning is the acquisition of new information. We constantly encounter new information in our daily lives, and learning enables us to process and store this information for future use. This can involve the development of new concepts, ideas, and theories, as well as the acquisition of specific facts and details. 2.3 Acquisition of New Skills Another important aspect of learning is the acquisition of new skills. We learn a variety of skills throughout our lives, such as playing a musical instrument, learning to ride a bike, or typing on a keyboard. These skills require practice and repetition to master, and the process of learning enables us to develop the neural connections necessary to perform these skills with ease. 2.4 Problem Solving and Decision Making Learning is also essential for problem solving and decision making. When faced with a new challenge or problem, we use our existing knowledge and skills to identify possible solutions and evaluate their effectiveness. This process of problem solving relies on the ability to acquire new information and use it to generate novel solutions. 2.5 Socialization and Cultural Transmission Finally, Learning plays a crucial role in socialization and cultural transmission. Through the process of social learning, we acquire the norms, values, and beliefs of our society and learn how to interact with others in socially appropriate ways. This process of cultural transmission enables us to pass on knowledge and skills from one generation to the next, ensuring the continued development and evolution of human society. 2.6 Summary of Learning In summary, learning is a fundamental process that enables us to acquire new information, develop new skills, solve problems, and interact with our environment. By actively engaging in learning activities throughout our lives, we can continue to grow and develop as individuals and contribute to the ongoing evolution of human society. 3. Memory Three point one Definition of Memory Memory is a remarkable process that enables us to store and retrieve information over time. It is a vital component of human cognition, and without it, we would not be able to learn new information, form memories, or recall important details. Memory is not a single process but rather a complex system that includes multiple stages, such as encoding, storage, and retrieval. 3.2 Stages of Memory, Encoding The first stage of memory is encoding, which is the process by which we transform information into a form that can be stored in memory. This process can be influenced by a variety of factors, such as attention, motivation, and the use of mnemonic strategies. For example, if we pay close attention to new information, we are more likely to encode it effectively and store it in our memory. 3.3 Stages of Memory, Storage 
The next stage of memory is storage, which is the process by which information is retained over time. Our memories can be stored in different forms, such as sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Sensory memory is a brief and temporary form of memory that allows us to retain information from our senses for a few seconds. Short-term memory is a temporary form of memory that allows us to hold information in our minds for a short period, typically around 20 seconds. Long-term memory is a more permanent form of memory that allows us to retain information over extended periods, from minutes to years. 3.4 Stages of Memory Retrieval Finally, the last stage of memory is retrieval, which is the process by which we access stored information. This process can be influenced by various factors, such as context, mood, and the use of retrieval cues. Retrieval cues are pieces of information that help us access stored memories, such as a particular smell, sound, or visual cue. 3.5 Practical Applications of Memory and Learning Memory and learning have important practical applications in our daily lives. For example, understanding how memory works can help us develop more effective study strategies, improve our ability to recall important information, and even help us prevent memory disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. Learning and memory also play a crucial role in our daily lives, such as when we are learning a new skill recalling important information, or even just going for a walk. 3.6. Summary of Memory In summary, memory is a complex and fascinating process that is essential for our ability to learn and function in the world. By understanding how memory works, we can improve our ability to learn, remember, and perform, and enhance our overall quality of life. Memory and learning are not only fascinating but also have important practical applications. Understanding how memory works can help us develop more effective study strategies, improve our ability to recall important information, and even help us prevent memory disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. 4. Tips for Improving Memory Four point one. Pay Attention The more attention you pay to something, the more likely it is that you will remember it. 4.2. Rehearsal Rehearsal is the process of repeating information over and over again. This is a very effective way to improve your memory. 4.3. Chunking Chunking is the process of grouping information together. This can help you to remember more information by reducing the amount of cognitive load on your brain. 4.4. Elaboration Elaboration is the process of associating information with other information that you already know. This can help you to remember information more easily. 4.5. Use mnemonic devices Mnemonic devices are memory aids that can help you to remember information more easily. 4.6. Taking breaks Taking breaks can help you to stay focused and to avoid getting overwhelmed. 4.7. Getting enough sleep. Sleep is essential for memory consolidation. 4.8. Eating a healthy diet. A healthy diet can help to improve your cognitive function. 4.9. Exercising regularly. Exercise can help to improve your memory and cognitive function. By following these tips, you can improve your memory and learn more effectively.